So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Express Impress. We're gonna see what all comes in the box and then we're gonna test out the machine and see how it works. All right, so first things first, we've got this nice porta filter with that delightful dimple in there that I just love from Breville. It comes already with that double basket already installed. Put that back in there. Then we got the razor. Now the razor is something that Breville or Sage always include with their espresso machines is to kind of clear off the grounds here from the ridge of the basket. And then we've got the rest of the baskets. I only use the double basket. For me, a double shot is mm, just right. That's just what I want as a base for my cappuccino, latte macchiato, or even just to sip. But you do also get a single basket here as well, non-pressurized, and you get two other baskets. These are both pressurized, a single and a double. And these are pressurized so that if anybody wants to use beans that are kind of old, or if the grind is not quite on, you can still get a passable espresso with these pressurized baskets. The machine also comes with a cleaning kit, which has got a back flush disc, cleaning tablets for back flushing the machine, a pokey thing for cleaning out the um, milk frother, and finally it's got a brush. But this is the best part right here. Opening this sucker up, let's see what this pretty machine looks like. Ooh. Look at that sucker. Ooh, doggy. Is that a pretty machine if I do say so myself? The matte white just looks ooh, really nice especially beautiful on a wooden countertop. I just love that combination. In the next part of this video, we are going to take a look at this machine and see how it operates. Let's go ahead and move on to starting up this machine. So I've already been soaking this water filter here for a while. I'm gonna put that right here into the tank. Plop, fill this up with water and drop this right in. And now, we gotta prime the pump. But before we do that, let's take a look at one last thing. Of course, as is always the case, they include everything that you need. So here they include a milk pitcher with some descaler agent as well. Let's go ahead, turn this machine on and let's prime the pump. Where's the power button? Here. All right, there it comes. And now let's let some hot water out of the hot water spout. Oh, <laughs> there's that water spout. All right, excellent. Now we are good to go with the water. Now there's one thing I'd like to do here with the grinder and that is kind of just check the inside to see the collar here of the grinder to see where we're set at. There are in total 10 different settings. I'm gonna put it at five, put the bayonet back on there. And on the side of the uni here, we got more steps than we used to have with the Barista Express. You had 16 settings, and with this one, you've got 26 settings. All right, so there we go. We've got the machine primed with water. And I would say, let's just add some beans and see where we end up. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. All righty, we've got the machine all commissioned. We got it filled up with water. We got the pump primed. We've set the internal collar of the burr to five, but actually now I've used this machine for a bit and I've realized that that setting of five inside, it's still grinding to coarse. And so what I had to do was switch that from five down to three to get a finer grind and to be to have more range here on the wheel and to get enough pressure here to be in the espresso zone. But now I've done all that, I've experimented with the machine and I'd like to share my experience with you in regards to first of all, the automatic adaptive dosing as well as the tamper, the integrated tamper, which is very cool. Now, before I go further, I should mention the origin of the machine. Breville did reach out to me and ask if I would like to take a look at the machine. And I said, heck yeah, I would like to do that. No money exchanged hands. I do quite like the machine. Nevertheless, I am going to give my opinion on the machine. I'm also going to mention a few missed opportunities that I think they could have improved on. And I'm going to give my pros and cons at the end. So stay tuned 
for that. But what I'm really impressed by with this machine so far is this adaptive dosing and makes things very ergonomic as well as the tamper. So let's just try the automatic adaptive dosing. I'm gonna tear out my scale here and what we're gonna do is put the portafilter in. Now I'm at a setting on the inner collar of the burr at three and here on my grind wheel I'm at, I'm at eight. And so what this adaptive dosing does is it will grind for a certain amount of time based on whether you're doing a double or a single. Then once you tamp, it's gonna realize where the tamper bottoms out and then it's gonna say, okay, either that is the correct amount or I need to add some more, or if it's too much, it's gonna remember that for the next time and dose less. Let's just give it a shot. So we are on a double dose. Let's give it a shot. There's something else really cool about this machine and that is that you can pull off the cover and you can see how the tamper works. It is a really cool mechanical operation of how the tamper flips downwards and tamps the puck. Let's take a look. We hit the green on that one. Let's see how much we've got in here. Okay, that's 17.0 grams. That's a good double dose for me. And what I like to do is, because there's still some coffee grounds on the top there, I like to go ahead and just give it a couple more polishes. And you'll see actually that knob turn there on the portafilter. So that is this puck getting nice and polished. Very, very nice. Okay, so we got 17 grams. I've done a bunch of trials, uh, which you can maybe see right here. And I've had trials before where it dosed too much, like let's say 22 grams, but the next time it will go all the way back down to 18 grams. So it realized that just based on the depth of the plunger of the tamper here, where it's got a dose for the next time. It's really cool. So anyway, let's just see what this shot looks like. And here we go. That's a pretty nice creamy looking shot right there. All right, there we are. So that is what the espresso shot looks like right there. That is quite delightful. Nice crema on top. And that is, that's quite a nice intense flavor in there. I get a, a little bit of bittersweet chocolate. It's just a little bit on the bitter side. I might need to actually open up my grind a little bit, but still a nice shot from this machine. Now I would like to show you something else that's quite interesting. I got this bottomless portafilter here because I wanna show you guys something. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to dose into here. What we wanna take a look at is whether or not this channels because you cannot pull this out to do any puck prep or, or WDT or anything. For all of you who don't know, this is a little WDT tool and you just put it in there and you distribute the grounds a little bit better, but you can't do that. Because if you do, if you would pull this out afterwards, well, then you're gonna spill coffee grounds all over the place. So let's just pull a dose. Okay, we're a little bit low, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more. That's that adaptive dosing. And now we're in the green. Excellent. Polish that a little bit, and it's a nice tamp. Now let's go ahead and see, do we have channeling? What does the shot look like? All right, let's give it a shot. So there's our shot right there, our two to one ratio. And to me, that looked pretty darn good considering we didn't do any WDT, all we did was tamp it. 
Look at the crema on that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one's better. That one's got some sweetness to it. That one is, has got what I would call more of a, a well-rounded flavor. It's not too bitter, it's not too sour. Got a little sweetness in there, and that's what you're looking for. And this machine, it does get better with each shot that you make. The first shot, of course, not everything is completely heated up as well as it will be the next, second, third, fourth, fifth shots. So keep that in mind. This brew group also, ooh, it gets hot over time. That's an advantage that the Impress has as well as the Barista Express. Both of these have brew groups that passively get heated within about, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. And that makes the extraction even better. Okay, what else you can do with this machine that's really nice is if you don't want to have an 18 gram dose. And that's what I seem to get when I aim for the green here and I'm using like medium dark beans. For a double shot, I get about 18 grams in here, and for a single shot, I get 10 grams. But if I want a bit less, for example, 15 grams, then I can use the manual dosing. All right, let's see what we get. All right, so according to the meter, we're just one notch under dosed, and we're at exactly 15 grams, that's good. Now, I've got this manual tamper here, and what I'm delighted to find out is that even though it's a little bit under dose according to this, the tamp is still a good strong tamp. So if I go ahead and try to tamp it myself, it's already tamped. I don't have to tamp it myself manually. What I really like is the fact that this mechanical apparatus here has got quite a bit of range, quite a bit of tolerance for being able to tamp anywhere from being underdosed a bit to being a bit overdosed, it's able to handle that. So that's good news. With that being the case, I would say let's go ahead and make a cappuccino. Now there is uh, one thing I do quite like about the design of this machine, how easy it is to wipe off. That's something that my wife pointed out because it's got such nice rounded edges and smooth surfaces, it's really easy to wipe down. Now where I think they could have made one improvement is to maybe make the steam a little faster. It still takes the first time you steam right around 15 to 20 seconds to warm up to steam mode. What it does allow you to do is get a really nice milk foam, very, very silky, delicious. Just gotta make sure to have that wand pointed in the right direction, down here in one quadrant, get it circling, rotating, and you'll be good to go. Let's give that a go again. I get a little nervous as I'm doing this. All right, so there you go. A couple of delightful cappuccinos made with the Barista Express Impress. And how does it taste? That is nice, very creamy. Nice intensity to the espresso, quite a delightful cappuccino. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this machine. I think that they have a couple of missed opportunities on this one. The first one is the water tank. So the water tank doesn't have any sensor in it. That can be super annoying when you wanna make a shot and then suddenly it's meh out of water, that is really annoying. So you have no indicator unless you look yourself or until you hear that the pump is looking for water. The second thing that's a little bit unfortunate, but of course it is based on the design of the tamping function, 
is the fact that you can't pull the porta filter out and just take a look at it because if you do you're going to cut the top of it off and you're going to make a mess and waste espresso so it's just something to get used to you've got to make sure to tamp every single time before pulling it out and finally uh, a third thing that would have been nice to have had would be an adjustable standby this shuts off i believe after a half hour and it would be nice if i could adjust that to be one hour or three hours if i want just to keep this nice and heated up now on to the pros there are a lot of them this tamping system it works great i mean i really like it i can dose all the way down to 14 grams or up to 18 and i'm going to get a nice solid tamp no matter what with this tamper which is great it even gives it a little bit of a polish at the end and it's a nice flat tamp the adaptive dosing is also super nice very convenient to use so if you have other people in your household who want to use this machine that's great and despite the fact that you can't do wdt with this machine as you saw there's very little channeling that i noticed while i've been using it so that's another benefit plus just like the barista express this steams milk really nice and silky it's uh i think a beautiful machine especially in the sea salt white it's almost like it's got kind of like a pearl color to it even a bit of an iridescence somehow very handsome on the countertop easy to clean the surfaces are nice and smooth and rounded off it's got a manometer it's got volumetric dosing you can even adjust the temperature you can adjust it from 93 down to 92 or 91 or up to 94 or 95. so those are a lot of nice things plus over the barista express here you got 25 settings versus the 15. so you can dial in your grind a little better with this machine another pro is and this is something that my wife noticed it's in general a quiet machine it's quiet to grind and it's also quiet to pull a shot now, one last thing i nearly forgot about the adaptive dosing and if you hold this filter in for three seconds then the next time that you dose it's going to dose three seconds less which is great so that you don't have to waste beans it's another nice feature and finally one other thing i forgot to mention that i kind of don't like is how much the water spout sputters it's really kind of sputtery if i wanted to top up a drink and it would make a mess. I'm gonna make a mess for you guys. But what are you gonna do? All in all, I think it's a great machine. It's a delight to have in the household. My wife really enjoys it. And with that being said, here are her thoughts. It's beautiful looking and it's a nice paint and it's a nice finishing. It's two in one, it's the grinder included in the coffee machine. So you won't have any mess with ground coffee beans anymore. That's one of the best features. What I like a lot is the included temper. It's very nice and ergonomic. And what I like the best, it is self-explanatory. Because even I, when my husband is at work, I can make myself a creamy, tasty cappuccino because I know how to foam with this nice steamer. It gets 10 of 10 points. All right, guys, I hope that you liked this video. I hope that it was insightful for you. And if so, give it a like. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.